This is St. Coleman's Church. This church is a modern church, it's 1770, 1775. It is the site of Coleman's first church. There's evidence of an eighth century church was built here, and then following that, churches always remained here on this site. And uh, St. Coleman's Church, a monastery sprung up around the church, and after that, the town sprung up around it. And the town became known as Roscommon. Roscommon, Wood of Coman. That was obviously a wood, a, a plateau, a wood, and the wood was named Coman's Wood, and the, the town got its name from that, and then the county, the county bears its name. So the original church would have been a timber church, but there's evidence of a door on the southern side of the, of the tower, of the bell tower, and indeed the, the, fr the front door of the church as you approach the church is a stone archway, and this, this was believed to be from the former church as well. All around the graveyard and within, within the church itself, you can find stones that relate to the original monastery and original church that was here. In the early 1100s, uh, Turlock O'Connor, High King of Ireland, commissioned, got, received a, a piece, a relic of the true cross, the cross that Christ died on, uh, from the Pope. And he enshrined this. He wanted it enshrined in, in, in a processional cross, which was the Cross of Kong. It's not quite sure where it was made. It may be Fiority, Kiltiven, Roscommon, but all these monasteries were related to the monastery here. They were the Augustans, and this church was the site where it was first um, paraded, shown off by Turlock O'Connor. The disillusionment of the monasteries, the Reformation, all played a vital part in this site. This church became a Protestant church and has continued so ever since. The church was aided by people of the town. We have the Telford organ here, a piped organ, um, and uh, Weld in his survey of Roscommon says how the people of the town paid for it but never got to actually hear its notes because they didn't attend the church. Um, it's something that has changed because nowadays uh, this church is used for cross-community things regularly. And of course, the graveyard itself outside is a cross-community graveyard and always has been. This is a very interesting graveyard. There are gravestones, slabs, there are monuments, various tombs, all to be found out there. And another feature of the church is the benchmark, and it's on the bell tower. Lots of major restoration has happened in this church over, over the years. But one of the most significant was in the late 90s, the bell tower was, was re redone and the bell was, was automated and it, so it rings on a regular hourly basis. There are regular services in this church every Sunday and the people of the town have been so generous in its restoration and things like that. And we welcome people to view it and look around it.